Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. In today's video, we are going to talk about conjugate action in gears. Okay, this chapter is taken from the chapter 13 from Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design Book. And the pictures is taken from Google Images itself. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, what is a conjugate action? Okay, you can read the text. The text says that the following discussion assume T to be perfectly formed, perfectly smooth, and absolutely rigid. Such an assumption, of course, is unrealistic because application of force, of force may cause deflection. So, uh, just to uh, remind you and tell you about uh, everything when we are doing. Uh, when we are developing the theory of anything, um, we we usually we assume uh, that it is in a perfect condition. Okay, it is a in perfect condition. For example, when you are doing simulation on something using uh, finite element analysis, uh, uh, you will uh, consider everything is in perfect condition. Uh, but of course, you cannot consider. Uh, gravity the flow of uh, wind and everything you assume uh, no uh, no wind flowing but actually flu wind is flowing and gravity no gravity involved actually gravity is involved uh, that is uh, when you are doing simulation on finite element analysis the same goes for uh, and any theory uh, for this case in we are talking about gear uh, uh, we assume the teeth will be perfectly formed which in reality is not going to happen, okay? Uh, as a rigid in reality, uh, wear and tear will happen. Uh, the teeth after prolonged usage is not rigid anymore. But it's okay. We we are developing the the theory, developing developing the calculation and everything. So so that is uh that is that is okay, no problem. Okay, mating gear teeth is acting against each other to produce rotary motion uh, similar to cams when the two profile of cam are designed so as to produce a constant angular velocity ratio during machine they are said to have a conjugate action. In theory at least it is possible uh, it is possible ever arbitrarily to select any profile for one tooth and tend to find a profile for machine tooth that will have a conjugate action. Okay, you can read everything. But in uh, in layman terms, in uh, in simple way of saying what is a conjugate action, it is like when two gears, when two gears are connecting to each other, okay, both will travel at the same speed. This is conjugate. Like my hand here, I put like this. This is like a conjugate, okay, because. When my hand is moving, both my hand is moving at the same speed. Okay, like I do like this, both my hand is moving at, at the same speed. If one hand is moving at different speed, meaning that it's not stable. If imagine a gear, there are two gears connecting to each other. One gear supposed to be what both gear are moving at the same speed, as we will we discuss in the later slide. Imagine one gear is different speed, one gear is different speed. Okay? Because of, uh, you can imagine why that happened. Uh, uh, Im imagine both gear are different speed, one, uh, higher, one high speed, one low speed. Then they connect to together. The gear will not be stable. The gear will not be stable and uh, it will broke away, it will fly away. Then Okay, that is why uh, the term conjugate action happened. Uh, uh, the, the easiest way to say it that when both gear are meshed together, it will form a conjugate action like this, and it travel it will travel at the same speed, which is uh, in the gear term is called constant angular velocity ratio. Angular velocity ratio. This is what we will discuss uh, in the next. Okay, this is the conjugate action. Uh, can, uh, when one curve surface pushes against another, figure 13.6, the point of contact occurs when two surfaces are tangent to each other at point C. You see here point C. 
okay and forces uh and the force at any instant are directed along the common normal tab of the two curve the line a b representing the direction of action of the force is called line of action the line of action we intersect the line of uh, center line o o here o o here here this is line o at some point p angular velocity ratio between two arms is inversely proportional to the ready okay circles are drawn from point p which is center of p circle remember p circle remember that i tell you when you are learning about gear bring the slide uh, bring the print out of the nomenclature with you so you, so that you can refer what where is the location of p where is the location of uh, the terms that uh, uh, given okay this it is very beneficial to you okay at least uh, you have something beside you okay, so, so that you can refer uh, okay so the line of action the important thing in this slide is the term line of action okay here my hand okay i do have a gear example with, with me uh, with me myself today but i can uh, resemble gear with my hand okay my hand have a thief this is a called let's say this is called a thief thief of a gear this is the base this is and this is the pitch both have uh both have gear okay and then when it contact both are contact this is the line of action this is the line of action the the one that holding my hand here okay you can imagine this this you can imagine the straight line imagine the straight line this is the line of action in that uh, when both gear are connected together uh, how many gears you can count okay if you have small gear you have a uh, big gear when both are matched together you can count how many teeth are connected maybe two maybe five teeth maybe more teeth and then the line of contact is the line of action okay the line of action okay uh figure 36 is useful to making another observation a point of gas is really a pair of cams that act through a small arc and before running off the evaluate counter are replaced by another radical pair of cams the cams can run in either direction are configured to transmit a constant angular velocity ratio if ambulate curve are used the gas tolerate changes in center to center distance with no variation so this is the um, uh, okay. We will talk about emulate uh, in the next in other videos. In other videos, there are uh, one subtopic uh, talking about emulate uh, emulate gear itself. Okay. Uh, okay. But where is the emulate curve? I use it. Okay. okay. There is uh, if you can read it, you can relate to this text can relate to this picture uh, okay transmit motion uh, transmit motion is an X constant angular velocity ratio the push point must be fixed that all the line of action for every instantaneous point of contact must pa pass through the same point P where is point P bring uh, if you have the textbook with you you can immediately see where is the location of point P uh, it, that's why important for you to have the textbook or to have the print out with you all the time when you're studying you can pinpoint the location of uh, that uh, this mentioned here point p okay uh, in the case of envelope profile it will be shown at all points of contact occur on the same straight line a b normal contact of uh, two profile the point contact coincide with line a b thus this profile will transmit uniform rotary motion so you remember uh, there is a term called pinion there is a term called gear when in your motorcycle you can see uh, there is a term called driver there is a term called driven the, the, the one that is attached to moto that give the force to the to the uh, to the other one this is called the driver uh, let's say on your motorcycle okay your motorcycle the 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 wheel behind attached to the moto is the driver the wheel in front the in front the front wheel okay attached to the uh 
uh, behind wheel to the rear wheel it is called the driven okay in the case of gear the same concept when both gear are connected okay one that giving the force is called the pinion one that accept the force is called the uh, is called the gear but both are the gear both both are called the gear but in terms of uh, uh, telling what what who who give force who does not who does uh, who does receive force who that who give force we call it as uh, pinion and gear okay about the pinion when the when the force from the gear okay when the force from the pinion pull, pushes the gear pushes the gear okay it will transmit the motion along along uh, through the line of action through the line of action meaning that the force how how much force given by the pinion is transmitted to the gear through the line of action okay you can see you can pause this video go back to the previous slide to see uh, figure 13.6 where is the location of force of action you imagine two gears connected together like this okay let's say my hand this give force my hand this receive force i give force like this this is the line of action okay and it is going to transmit the force through the line of uh uh, line of action which is in this case it called a b line okay so that's all for the uh, video today in the next video we're going to talk about involute properties okay so thank you very much